Hi, welcome back to another episode of the LinkedIn Guru. I'm Jeff Young, the LinkedIn Guru. I've done some uh, tips before and some episodes before that related to skills, so I'm going to talk a little bit more about skills today. But specifically, what I'm going to concentrate on is how you get endorsed for a skill that you really want to make sure is, is at the top of your list. Uh, so let's take a look. So when you look at my profile, uh, I'm going to go to my profile and show you my skills list. And I'll have to click like this so you can see what it looks like to, as you would go in. So when, when I do view profile as, now I can scroll down to my skills and you can see my list of skills. Uh, back when this was first implemented, uh, a long time ago now, actually a couple of years ago, one of the things that I noticed was that at the bottom of my list of skills with only like five endorsements, there was this skill, networking. And when you're talking about being a professional networker, the thing that goes through your mind is, well, what would a professional networker want to be known for? Hmm, networking is it. So how do I get people to endorse me for that specific skill and how do I get it to be raised up as far as the numbers are concerned? So here's how I did that. First of all, I composed a message offline and then I went to my connections and I said, all right, I'm going to pick my connections to send a message to and ask them for help. After all, that's what networks are about. If you're providing value to your network, occasionally you can actually ask your network for help as well. So here's how I did that. I went to the, the, the set of connections and then I filtered those connections by the first set that I wanted to do something with. So basically I, I did that by category and I grabbed a category and inside of this category I got 37 people. And I said, all right, select all those people and send those people a message. Now my message, as you notice, it fills in the blanks. Uh, my message was, please help. Okay? And basically, I took another message that I had someplace else and crafted, and I put it in here and I pasted it. And basically the message says, look, as a professional networker, I'd really like to be known uh, for networking. Would it be okay if you actually came to my profile and I teach them the right way to do it, be sure to scroll down to my list of skills and endorse me for networking? And it's great because that's exactly what ended up happening. I sent this off and I sent it off several times to, to the list of people that I felt would be appropriate to ask to, to endorse me. And once I sent the message, they started to do just that. They endorsed me. And here's the key to this, though. What ended up happening is that many of those folks treated it as basically just that request. They went to my profile, they scrolled down, they endorsed me for networking, and they went on their merry way. Some folks are more intuitive, however, because they thought I wanted to be endorsed for my skills, not just networking. So when they came to my profile, they scrolled down and they endorsed for networking, and then maybe another skill, and then maybe another skill, and then maybe another skill. So I got four or five endorsements for skills out of that just that one message. And it's great because this is amazing how your network supports you if you actually provide value. They're going to give back to you. There's another group of people who are even more intuitive, and when they saw that message, they basically said, oh, Jeff wants to be endorsed. So they did go out to my profile, endorse me for networking and a couple of other skills, and oh, by the way, they actually wrote me a recommendation as well. So I got three new recommendations out of one request that was only to be endorsed for one skill. This is how powerful this can be, and this is how powerful your network can be for you. So this is how you should approach it in terms of actually gathering your information and getting your network to endorse you for specific skills. Pick the skill, send it out to them, and ask them. You can't ask them every week for the same kind of pro process, but you can ask them occasionally to go out there and help you as far as your profile is concerned. Guru's Tip of the Day. Today's tip is also about skills. What I want to show you is how you can actually, if you've in the past gotten endorsements that you're not really sure that you want on your profile, how you can take those endorsements off. It's all up to you and you can keep the integrity of your, of your skills endorsements by making sure that you update them to be exactly what you want. So here's how that works. Basically you have to click profile or edit profile to go to your list of skills and then you can click on when you scroll down to your skills endorsements, then you can click on the edit button, any edit button, and you'll now be in edit mode as far as your skills are concerned. Instead of adding and removing skills though, what I'm going to do is click on manage endorsements, which will change the look and feel of what you see here. So then all I've got to do is scroll down to a skill that I want to pick, like let's say for example down here under organizational development, okay, I can now show the endorsements for those skills and I can turn off or back on any of the endorsements that I do not believe are valid. 
And that's one way that you can keep the integrity of your skills and make sure that your skills endorsements are meaningful and they do mean something to what people see when they actually see your profile. So all you have to do is uncheck any endorsement that you don't believe was real. They won't know that you unchecked it. They will ju there will just be a, lo a lower number as far as the number of endorsements on your skills. Click save and you're done. That's the tip for today. Thanks for listening. Come on back and see us next week. And don't forget to click the subscribe button so you see what's coming up. Thanks, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.